Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D pop-up card using Lawn Fawn's new center picture window card die and add-on. And we're going to make this great little scene of a little kitty staring longingly into a fishbowl. Okay, let's get started. So these are the pieces from the center picture window die that we're going to need to make our card. So this is the card base. This large die will help you make a card base. And there's a score line in the center so you know where to fold and then also where to line up some of the other um, paper pieces later on and I'll show you how to do that. And whenever I make a fold, I reinforce it with my bone folder just to make sure we have a nice sharp crease. Now this die we're going to use to make the center pop-up feature. So this white sheet of paper, or it's, I guess, Spiffy Speckles <laughs> pattern paper, this is gonna be our little fish bowl. And we're gonna take the oval die that comes with the die set, and we are going to line up those two lines so that the center crease is right in between. And the reason that we do this is so that we get perfect placement of our little oval window right in the center of the card. Okay, so I have die cut that, and now I am going to put the oval aside because we are not gonna need the oval for this card. We're just going to need the window. And if you can see, there is a score line right in the center of our die cut, and we are going to fold forwards at that score line and then we're just gonna reinforce the fold with our bone folder. And what this crease is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to line up the die cut perfectly on our card base, and it's also going to allow the piece of paper to kind of bend in and out when you open the card, helping with the 3D effect. Now, there are also these two little tabs on the edges of the die cut. They're about a quarter of an inch, and you just fold those towards the back. And those two little tabs are where we are going to attach the die cut piece to our card base. And so that's what our fishbowl is gonna look like. We're gonna have this blue sheet in, in the background and I'm just gonna again, fold that at the score line as well. And I cut the blue sheet out using the same die that I did for the front of the fishbowl. I just cut off the tabs on the side because we are not going to need those because we're gonna adhere the blue sheet um, flat to the card base. And this is just a design element. This is not something you need to do, but because I wanted the fishbowl to look like it had blue water in the background, I just added this little center piece here. Next, we're gonna work on decorating the sides of the card. And to do so, I'm just gonna pause here and take a look at the little polka dot turquoise rectangles. Those I cut out by hand, and the measurement is two by three quarters or two and three quarters by one and five eighths. And then I am going to take the center picture add-on die that has these additional little rectangles that just add design elements to your card. You don't need them. It will just help to, it'll give you a few more die cuts to make your card look pretty. So I'm gonna take these little rectangles that I cut out by hand. And again, these are the two and three quarter by one and five eighth inch rectangles and I'm going to attach them to the sides. And then I'm gonna take my little rectangles that I cut out using the add-on for the center picture window die and I'm just gonna attach those right in the center. And the add-on gives you this cute little stitched border around the rectangle. So it's just a, a nice clean look and it matches with the stitched oval of the, the center window. Okay, so now it is time to work on um, adding some adhesive to our center picture window. And I'm taking 1 eighth of an inch um, score tape and I'm just gonna attach it to the two tabs and I'm gonna attach it to the um, part of the tab that is folded in. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my bone folder and just go over the score tape to make sure it is nice and secure and firm. Now we're gonna work on our two little sandy hills that are gonna be at the back of our fishbowl. And I'm using 
two of the dies in the center picture window, die kit or die set. And again, there are score lines in the center of each of the hills. And so for those, I'm going to fold those forward. And then for the tabs on the sides that we're going to use to attach the hills to the back of the card, I'm going to fold those backwards. And I colored in these little hills with some Copic markers off screen, um, just to give our scene a little bit of interest. And I just thought that it would look better than just using craft card stock, which I'm going to show you another version of the card where I made the hills out of craft card stock. So either one you prefer, you can use. Okay. Now we're going to work on putting our adhesive onto the two tabs on the sides of each of our little hills. And the hills are just design elements. They're not necessary to build out the card, but by adding the hills, it will help, as you'll see, to give the scene some dimension. And then it also gives us a place to add some additional, we can stick some additional little images on the hills to kind of build out the scene even more. So I'm gonna take the adhesive off using my tool in one. I find that this is easier sometimes than just kind of pulling at it with my nail. And then I'm gonna line up that center fold again with the center fold on the card base. And then I'm going to just attach the right side of the hill for now. And I attach that just by folding our um, little tab on the right hand side inwards. And then for the second hill, I am going to do the same thing. I'm gonna find the height that I wanna add the hill out, line up the, the score line in the center, and then adhere it. And then this is kind of what it's going to look like um, when we adhere everything together. Now it's time to adhere our center picture window. And we're going to, again, line up that center line on the little fishbowl panel with the center line on the card base, and then just press down so that our little flap is adhered firmly to the card base. That looks good to me. Then we're going to take all of our pieces and fold them to the right. And then we're going to fold them backwards, each of the pieces. And then we're going to remove the score tape from the left side of each of our little hills. And then we're going to do the same with that center picture window. We're going to remove the adhesive. And then we are just going to close the flap. And then this is going to give us the correct placement for where our hill and our center picture window is going to attach on the left side. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to work on our cover panel. And to do so, I am I cut out a frame from the shadow box card ocean add on. And the great thing about if you have the shadow box card die or any of the add ons, they all work perfectly with this center picture window die. So you can get a lot more design options if you kind of mix and match your shadow box card add ons with the center picture window um, die. Now I'm going to just attach our front panel onto the card, just like, like this. And the pattern paper that I'm using here is from the Spiffy Speckles and Spring Filling six by six pattern paper collections that were re just released or released earlier this spring. And then the hardest part about this card is getting all of the little pieces to line up correctly. So if you see that you have any parts that are not lined up, just take a large scissor and cut them off and then it will look fine. Okay, so now we've built our card and now comes the fun part. We are going to decorate the card. To do so, I cut and colored some images from the Keep On Swimming and You Are Sublime stamp sets. And I am going to attach the little end table from the Keep On Swimming stamp set to the front of the card. And I just cut the legs off where it didn't quite fit and tuck them into the frame. And then we're going to put the little fishbowl right on top of the end table. And I think that looks so cute. And then we're going to add some little heart shaped bubbles 
to our little fish as well. And now we are going to work on the inside of the card. And I cut out these little strips of acetate because we're gonna use them to attach some of the images into the fishbowl to make it look like they're floating in the fishbowl. So first we're gonna take this little piece of seagrass or sea greenery and we're gonna attach that to the back hill. And I just put some adhesive on the bottom front of the image. And then I'm just using my tweezers to kind of make sure that it is firmly attached where I want them on the, on the little hills. So that looks good to me. And now we can move on to adding some additional sea greenery. And I'm going to attach two pieces of these little sea vines directly to the back of the, the back wall of the fishbowl. So I put one on the left and then one on the right, kind of coming up out of that second hill. And next we're gonna attach this little piece of coral just right to the front of our little fishbowl so that he's just tucked in right in the foreground of the scene. And we're gonna put a little piece of seagrass right um, next to, to him. So the scene is starting to look good to me, lots of dimension. And now it's time to add our little kitty. So we have this cute little kitty who is sitting in front of the fishbowl, just staring longingly at the little fish who are inside. And I just, I love this scene so much. I think it's so cute. And those of us who have cats or who have had cats at some point, I think can definitely relate to this scene. So I'm gonna take our little fish and I'm gonna attach him on some acetate. And then I'm gonna attach him to the back of this first hill here. And I want him to be eye level with our kitty. So it looks like they are in the middle of a great kitty fishy stare off. And then I just added another two fish using that same method of just attaching them to acetate and then attaching the acetate to the back of those hills. We're also gonna add these little floating hearts. This is from the You Are Sublime stamp set and I kind of hung them hanging off of the front panel. So it looks like some one of the hearts is floating. And then we're gonna add these two little hearts also next to the kitty just to kind of reinforce the love and longing that he is feeling for this little goldfish in the fishbowl. And our sentiment says, I can't take my eyes off of you. And I think that's just perfect for this scene. And then we're going to add a sentiment to the front of the card. And it says, you are fantastic. And I am just popping that up on some foam tape and I used white embossing powder and black cardstock to make the sentiments off screen. And I just love, I love this little scene. I can't take my eyes off of you with the little kitty staring longingly at the little fish in the fishbowl. And then on the front, we have this little fish with a little heart bubble saying, you're fantastic. So here is another version that I made of the card. This is actually the first card that I made using the center picture window card die. This version is a little bit less fussy. There's less going on on the inside of the fishbowl. So if you're looking for a less fussy version of this fishbowl card, then maybe uh, this version is for you. So that's all I have for now, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a lot and I really hope you give these cards a try. They are so much fun and anyone that you give them to definitely love them. If you wanna see some other versions of these center picture window cards, be sure to follow me on Instagram over the next few days as I will be making additional scenes using other Lawn Fawn stamp and die sets. Thanks a lot everyone, have a great weekend and I will see you again in the next video.